In this tutorial, we'll create a uh, just a quick, simple head on a character, and maybe give it a bald spot and grow some hair or something like that. All right. So let's see. Well, this icosphere won't do because it has uh, triangles on there. So I don't want to deal with triangles. So I'll get rid of this. I'll add a cube to the scene. All right. And then since it's, uh, we'll give it a color. Let's see, we'll have to make it some, we'll just make it some kind of, I know it's in there yet. I'm looking for a kind of a tannish color, a little pinkish to it. Okay, that's good enough. All right, so then move it into the scene so we can see it. All right, and then let's uh, make it, let's give it a lot more faces. So... Okay, that's good enough for starters. I better apply that. All right, let's scale that up a little bit so we can see in the scene. So we're not going to do much to it. We just extrude it a little bit in Z. All right, like this. And then down here, we'll look at it from, I guess, this angle here. That'll be the front face of it like this. And then we want to taper the base of it a little bit. So... See if I can't quite see that, so I'll look at it in wireframe mode, go into here, and then see if I can get this, turn this off. Go grab that vertex down there. Yeah, okay, that's good enough. I'll make sure proportional editing is on. And then I'll scale that down in Y and X. Better leave edit mode. No, I didn't want to leave edit mode. S. So I want to control a little bit more than that. Yeah, okay, that's better. It looks like halfway looks like a <laughs> like the shape of a head. Okay, and then let's let's give it a nose. Let's see here, maybe the nose is well where's let me see where are the eyes. Well we know the eyes are where. Where they're right halfway in the middle of the head right in there so the nose is going to start sticking out somewhere in here okay we'll s just sh move it out like this but I don't want all that influence anymore I want this just a little bit of influence alright there's the nose of the, of the character alright so that's really all we need just to kind of have a hint of a character. So then the head is up here. So maybe this would be my hairline somewhere in here, starting like this or lack of. So let's do this. Let's go into edit mode. And I'm going to make this the general hairline from this point forward on the head. So I don't want to grow any par hair particles down here for say on the, on the face. So I am going to select everything up here for starters. Alright, I'm going to go to wireframe mode and just select. Okay, well, let me if I can see this. I think these were the particles right there. Let me see. Yeah, those would be the hair particles there, but I'm going to turn all these off. I don't want to grow any hair on the face here, so I'm going to select the inverse of those like this. Then I'm going to have to go get a vertex group and this will be the face group, well we'll just call it face like this and I'm going to give all those a weight of zero that way when I grow the hair particles uh, nothing will be grown there and then I'm going to select the inverse for starters let's see where is my select inverse, oh, I always lose this guy, select inverse alright and then I'll make these all grow particles like that except down here through the center where is this dude's bald spot going to be let's see let's see oh and for those of you who are wondering uh, yeah it runs in my family too okay so let's see so I drag this here 
and maybe I'll just hand select these so I'll go into face select mode and we're just going to grab a few of these where it clears out so I'll select these here like this and then maybe these like this Oh yeah, better keep going. We need a little bit more. Good. Yeah, all right. Well, that's good enough for there. And for those, I will make. I'll get. I'll give it a little bit of hair. <laughs> Point one. All right, assign it like that. All right, so now we have our vertex group assigned. Now that's important for the head, like this. Okay, so now let's go get a particle system. And uh, we'll admit from the faces, so that's already selected. And we'll start with a thousand particles, but we'll turn it into a hair particle, hair emitter. Okay, then we're going to have to change the length way down to make it you know like this now you notice it's growing out of the entire face but that's because I need to come down here and under the uh, where are my vertex groups oh yes right down there and for the density we're just going to mm -hmm. we'll select that group oh and then we have hair here oh did I get it backwards one I said zero here Oh no, when I had selected those there, I forgot to set those. I thought that point one. Okay, well, we'll make it the other way. So he's bald here and it's got hair in the middle. I think you get the idea. It's all about how you set the vertex groups here, where you had them set at zero, then there was, will be no hair grown like that. All right? And then um, let's crank up the uh, amount. It'll be the mohawk dude with bald spot on the side. We give a lot of hair in the middle. All right, so he's got pretty good hair there, like that. And then um, now we want to put a little wind effect to it. All right, so what we can do is we'll just we'll make the wind come from the side. He'll be a suave dude, and he'll have a we'll put a little empty in the scene and to that we're going to add a force field and we'll put the wind in the force field we'll give it a little bit whoa we'll just give it some strength not a lot of strength and let me see I want to put it maybe up here like this let me look at it from above all right and then I'll just rotate it on Y a little bit. See how that changes his hair cruising back there like that and change it on X now. I mean change it on it's just R X. Uh it must be in local coordinates. Uh see I have local coordinates set here, so that's my local axis, so I'm gonna have to do R X X to change it in the local coordinate mode like this. And then let's see if we can just make the wind work without setting any keyframes. Let's just set a lot of noise to it and see what will happen just by itself. I don't think it will work, but no. So what we're going to do is we just set the, um, we'll set the intensity here. I'll change the strength of a little bit. I'll start it off low, down like this, and I'll set the strength keyframe maybe up here like this at 60 I'll crank it up a little bit and I'll set the strength keyframe and then up here I'll drag it down and back here I'll drag it up a little bit like that so now we've set a keyframe so now when we run the animation well it looks like that wind is just a little bit too lar too much so for We'll just move, move, move back. 
see how much it affects the scene. Well, it's a little bit too much. All right, well, there you go. There's our little mohawk dude balding on the side and uh, with his hair blowing in the wind. All right, well, that's it for this tutorial, and I'll see you in the next lesson.